we are, lighting. We are supposedly are sure? live. I saw a little uh, circle. Uh, where did you see said circle? We uh, have to keep talking for now because someone is watching to see if we have any audio. Yes. And I've got a microphone. You've got a microphone. We don't know if they're saying. It looks almost like the same microphone, doesn't it? They're identical. Identical. Okay. They are. They are identical. And once we get a uh, thumbs up that we have what audio, is this? What are we thumbs looking up. For? I'm looking for a thumbs up for uh, audio. Thumbs up. Yeah, that's I think the the adage, the, the what people say. Okay. Give me a thumbs up for whatever reason. Okay. If you want to start a petition. Two minutes on the countdown. I mean, I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. Someone is saying that they're seeing our video, and I can already hear us. I get a thumbs up. All right. I see Please a leave thumb the room. up. <laughs> I see a thumb up. Uh, well, okay. okay. I, I saw thumbs up. Uh, How this, many did you this, see? This, of course, is the green room. We're, okay. we're going to be quiet for 10 seconds. Remember we talked about this. This is for, for post-production for issues. Yes. <laughs> I, will, I will go. Was that so difficult? Oh. <laughs> it was pretty hard, wasn't it? it was hard. Um, Thank you. I don't know. We didn't talk about this beforehand, so I don't know if I can bring it up, but I think you went to a ball game last night. Yes, I did. How was it? Oh, it was fantastic. Who was it? It was the Milwaukee Brewers and the Cincinnati Reds. Of those two teams, did you have a favorite? Or did you just yeah. go for the experience? Uh, mainly went for the experience, but... Yeah. Uh, I'm a, Who like, won? A, like a hometown guy. Who won? Uh, Cincinnati won. That's but your was, hometown by any chance? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, it's not. Yes, it's not. Yes. It was, uh, it was zero to four going into the ninth inning, bottom of the ninth. Cincinnati was ahead? Cincinnati was ahead, oh, okay. yes. So then that yes. was the end of it. Well, we scored three runs in the bottom of the ninth. Really? We. we. I say we. Oh, I, wow. You I finally like, you were paying attention. I, <laughs> right, right. If you uh, had been Kristen paying attention. Yelich hit a home run. Who? Christian Yelich. That's He's a baseball player a baseball for the player. Milwaukee Brewers, yes. Ah, a home run? Yeah, it went over the fence. Oh, uh, were the bases loaded? They were not. Yeah, so that Otherwise, would be a it grand would have been four, yes, yeah. yes. Okay, okay. I, okay. You're a so, baseball fan, huh? But why didn't you leave, like, in the eighth? You were having too much fun. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. It was the girls and I. It was a great experience. Oh, how fun. Great trip, yeah. Uh, uh, Made for a long trip back How home, often are there? Yes. Yeah. How often are there games? Uh, yeah. I think there's uh, 80 per season. 80 per season. 80 home games, 80 yes. home games per season. I'm glad you had a good time. It's time to start the show. Would you like to? Uh, I'm going to get I'm rid of the I'm not doing anything room. else anyway, so go for it. I'm going to start the intro video. We'll see what yes. happens. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 19 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, July 26th, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the oddly popular mayor of Meatville, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, how are you? Oddly popular? Oddly what does popular. that mean? I don't know. It's open to interpretation. Is that like the popular odd guy well, or? I was going to say, it's either the popularity itself is odd or the mayor is odd. Or the but mayor, I yes. I think people know you. Yeah. They, they know what I meant. The both of them. They know what I meant. Uh, usually, if we have nothing to say, I say what we're going to do. Shall I tell everybody what we're going to do? Yeah, I've got nothing to say. You've got nothing to say. That's the first. <laughs> Weekly specials. We're going to go over those? Well, did you know that it's it's five months? Just one day under five months from uh, Christmas? Did you know that? It's 152 days. Oh, <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Weekly specials. We'll go over those. Brought to the week. Do you have those? I do. Uh, local product of the week. Do you have that? I have that. Uh, special upcoming days. Do I have those? Yes, you do. I do. And a winner of last week's contest. Plus, will we do another contest? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's dive right in. For anyone who may not know, please tell us where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market, uh, almost smack dab in the middle of Appleton, Wisconsin. Almost smack dab. Yes. Almost very close in the to neighborhoods. nearly smack yes. dab in the middle. Yes. In the neighborhoods of smack dab in the yes. middle. Yes, right. That would be at the corner of 
North Law and East Pacific. Law and Pacific. Now you say it's a meat market, but it sells more than meat. Yes, we do. Such as? Such as <laughs> cheese, uh, Bloody Mary mix. Oh, really? Uh, coffee. Coffee? Cheese. Did I mention cheese yet? I don't think you did. No. Why don't you tell me about it? Cheese? <laughs> cheese. You're, you're the corner grocer. Correct. Yes. yes but we it's are. called J Jacob's Meat Market, and you do sell meat. And we do, a yes. Lot of it. A we lot specialize of it. in the meat. Specialize yes. in the meat. Do you have any news this week? Uh, yes. So this past Tell me all about it. <laughs> all about it? This all about it. 20 minute show, right? Give me a recap. Okay, a, a recap. Quick recap. Yes. Uh, so this past weekend, um, one of our former cashiers got married. Do Sarah. I know this? Oh, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah yeah. Sarah, who used to work here at the cash register. That would be the former that, cashier. The former yes. Cashier, yes. Sarah, got married. Yes, she did. To did Jacob. Did you attend and I attended. the wedding? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. On then Saturday I, night, it was a great time. Did you attend the wedding or just the yes. drinking part of the The boat of them. The yes. boat of them. Yes, the boat of them. all of it. And you had a good time? Yes. All yes. Right. So congratulations, well, congratulations to Sarah and Sarah. Jacob. You've also scratched some notes here about yes. something I don't yes. know. Yes, there is a uh, thresherie. A thresherie. Yes. Oh, an event. This weekend, an event, yes. An event. In Simcoe. Have you ever heard of Simcoe? Uh, yeah, about five minutes ago. Yeah, it's okay. about an hour away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So they do... Um, so they do three events a year. Um, they do a couple car shows, and they also do the th this threshery. The threshery. Um, so this is for uh, tractors. tractors. Yes, this is the tractor portion. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, they're going to be doing like uh, antique tractor pulls. Um, and you, it's really, really cool to go through. Um, it's like an old-fashioned town, like a like a saloon type thing, you know, oh. where there's tumbleweed. Tumbling Do they through have the actual tumbleweed? Uh, I've never. There probably is. There probably is. You should go and see. Which direction? Yes. North, south. Not west. quite sure. West. west. Go west, young man. Yeah. Are, the tumbleweed? Is no, that the what Simcoe. You're for? Simcoe. Oh, Simcoe, Where is Simcoe? Is Simcoe? West. Yes. It's west of here. Yes. Um, but you're bringing this up for another reason. Yes. What's that? Because we're uh, we're supplying some of the meats. Oh, to okay. This, so to this. I can eat there too. Yes. And definitely. And it would be Jacob's Meat Market meats. Correct. Well, that's yes. a reason to go. Oh. Although. Yes. Tractors, antique tractors. Do you get yeah. to ride in them? Maybe. Do you get to no, drive there's, them? There's uh, there's demonstrations I'd all like weekend. To drive a tractor. Well, I mean, you can talk to a nice farmer out there. I'm oh, sure they'll I'll let you nice hop farmer. up on the yeah, John Deere. Put me to work is what you do. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> That's threshing, this weekend, right? Threshing stuff. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes. This coming Friday, Correct. Saturday, and Sunday. Good thing I don't already have plans. Right. Because now I can go. You. I hope we hear about it all weekend. Yeah, I'll send you pictures. Yes. If you like. Yes. I have a reminder. A reminder of something important that uh, we got a question on last week. Okay. Do you deliver those lunches that you serve here? We do, yes. Oh, you do? Yes. Free it's of typically charge. typically me. Yeah. It's typically Out of the me. goodness of your heart. Uh, very close. Very close. Uh, Five dollars. Five dollar delivery, delivery fee, fee. in Correct. the city of Appleton. Correct. What if I were to order five lunches? Five lunches, I'll do it for you for free. For free, just yes. for me? Yes, well, for the viewing audience. Anyone but don't tell order, anybody, though. Anyone who orders five or more Correct. gets free delivery. But right. the, answer, the, the, the real information here is that, yes, yes if you deliver. can't get here, we can deliver. Correct. We can deliver. Last week, we talked about pig roasts, because you have a pig roaster that you rent. And what's the, what are those called again, typically, when you go to a pig roast? A luau? Uh, not in Hawaii. Uh, what are they called? Don't know. Barbecue? Sponfarkel. Oh, Sponfarkel. <laughs> That's the meal, not the event. Sure it is. I've never been to a Sponfarkel. No? I've eaten Sponfarkel. Okay. But, yeah, I, I don't know where the, you... You've I eaten don't, the whole... The whole back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's usually a baby pig. Okay. And it's delicious. Okay. I'm ashamed to say, but it's really good. It's really good. I don't know where you've been in Germany. Multiple places. Multiple. Bavaria. Yes. I, I'm yes. familiar with Bavaria. Yes. Okay. I was never no. at a spawn farkle there, or I never had a spawn farkle there. Are you saying they call it that here? Yes. Oh, I well, see. That's, that's what yeah, we call it here. That's, yeah. That's fine. The Americanized version. The Americanized version. version. Oh, oh, that's fine? Thank that's you. That's fine. Thanks for that's the permission. Fine. You have my permission. <laughs> you want me to put that in writing? No. Anyway, I no. have questions. Yes. You rent this roaster. Yes. And you can sell me the pig. Yes. That I can roast. When the pig is done, and I don't know how to tell when the pig is done, what the happens mother. then? Can you tell me how you serve a pig to sure. a party? Sure. Explain that. You typically take it off of the, so there's handles on each side of the pig, on, on the, pig. the roaster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the handles, you put the handles on the pig. Yeah, right. Okay. So there's a tray or something. There's a tray, okay. yes. Uh, and on the, each side of the tray, we were gonna get with the pig yeah. hanging out on it, um, uh, you just put it on a table and then you just basically cut down the backbone and then you peel the skin open and then um, 
which is of the already done pig. Um, and then you just basically bone out the pig. You just take start taking boneless How meat out. How much skill putting does in. this require? Not very much. Not very much. No. It takes a lot of beer, though. <laughs> I can imagine. Now, this this... This isn't just a whole pig that I cook. You, you have cleaned it up some for me. Yes, it's, yes. It's ready to cook. Correct. Okay. It's ready to cook. Yep. Okay, well. we'll or if you we'll, want to stuff it, you can stuff it. Uh, some people stuff it with um, some fruits. Some people stuff turkeys, it with sauerkraut. Chickens. Yeah, I've no, seen that. Really? Yes, yes. We'll, we'll circle back to this in the future. Okay. This, I'm interested. Okay. I'm interested. And the last thing for today is that it's Wednesday, which means brat fry at, for lunch at yes. Jacob's. Do you know what you're serving today? Uh, yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it's pork brats and teriyaki chicken brats. It very says. good. Very yes. Good. You know what you. I'm doing right after this show? You want um, to do the weekly specials? Sure. Let's go. That was rhetorical. Let's oh. That was rhetorical. Oh. Uh, weekly specials, but first, uh, I need a joke. You have a joke? Oh. Did you, uh, did you know that... I did. Um, Next. Chuck Norris's mom was actually in jail when he, when, when he was in the womb? Did not know this. Uh, she was in jail for um, concealing a deadly weapon. The deadly weapon was Chuck Norris? Yes. And you find that funny, do you? Yeah. Okay. Haha, <coughs> ha. we'll laugh at that. All the six other people that I told it to thought it was funny, except for you. Except for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This one is no, so you're stupid. Not. This one is so stupid. I don't even know if I can do this one. How many tap dancers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. Five, six, seven, eight. That's it. That's it. I don't get it. Good for you. Get me back on that. Yeah. I'll explain it later. Okay. I'll explain it later. Okay. Tell me about your mailing list because this is growing in popularity. So is it five, six, or seven, That's or eight? That's right. It's five, six, seven, eight. We don't really want to waste any more time okay. explaining this. Okay. We want to know about your mailing list. Okay. Yes. Uh, on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com, on the right-hand side, um, there is a little uh, uh, entry form, or if you, if you will, or a little space to enter your email address, and then you can subscribe to our weekly emails. Um, that we send out our specials on Wednesdays and also our um, lunch menu on Sundays. I am subscribed. And some jokes. Yes. And I get these mails. And on Sunday at 6 in the morning, I get yes. the lunch menu for the fall, for the come up coming week. Yes. the hump hump coming week. <laughs> and on Wednesday at 6 a.m., I get the specials. So if yes. you were subscribed, you wouldn't even have to watch this program. Right. Not that we don't want you to watch, but you'd already know what we're going to talk about. Correct. So I if you suggest, open your email. If you open your email. Yes. Who wouldn't? It's from Jacob's huh, Market. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got specials. I have a, yes. a button here. Perfect. Which one would you like to start with? Uh, let's start with the um, baked beans. <sighs> How about you do them in order? Oh, do them in order? Please oh, do them in order. <laughs> let's start do with the, the beef tenderloin, tenderloin special. <laughs> I was just going to that was my second joke. Yeah, that was a good one. Yes, that yeah, one I it enjoyed. was good. It was that good. Is that why you're all red? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we have a whole beef tenderloin on sale this week for $14.99 a pound, and the steaks are $15.99 a pound. A beef tenderloin, you can buy the thing whole. Yes. Yeah, it's or about can... three to four pounds typically. Oh, wow. Um, or the steaks, we can cut them any size you like. You know, some people like a four ounce for like a, a steak sandwich type thing or whatever, and some people like them like a 16 ounce. Wow. If they're going to be really if trying to impress hungry? somebody. Yeah. Or, or if they're hungry, yes. Yeah. they're going to a threshery. Yes. <laughs> uh, and they don't want to buy stuff there. Yeah, yes. I'm interested. I'm going to look after the sh after, after when we're off the air, I'm going to look at what a whole one looks like because I'm not sure. Uh, there's one right there. Oh, can look, you see it? One, I can see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. They're huge. <laughs> where are we going? Another kind of tenderloin. But sure. not beef. Why don't you tell me where we're going? We're going to pork tenderloins. Okay, pork, pork tenderloin. tenderloin. Let's go. Uh, fresh, all natural pork tenderloins, $3.99 a pound. And they're about a pound a piece. There's two pieces per package, so they're about how much per package, typically? I wasn't listening. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, I wasn't listening. They're about listening. a two to three pound package, and there's two pieces per package. Two pieces? Yes. And a three pound? So they're about a pound and a half each? Moving right along, Moving right uh, along. we have some frozen Icelandic haddock on sale for ten ninety nine a pound. What kind of fish is that? Frozen Icelandic haddock. 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 Or haddock? Haddock. Or haddock, whatever you're, wherever haddock. you're from. Haddock. And this is from Iceland? Yes. And it's frozen? Yes. Oh, of course it is. Yes. It's from Iceland, uh, which is not really icy, is it? No, uh, that's So Greenland. you find this in the freezer section? Yes. Oh, 
We were going to put it in our fresh section, but we right. realized that it was frozen, so we're going to sell it in our frozen good section. Good catch. Good yes. Catch, huh? Who's the genius oh, good who catch. saw that? Good catch. I <laughs> like that. Huh? Oh, man. Moving right along uh, to one of my Luke favorite products. Some Luke-approved hard or Genoa salami, five ninety nine a pound. I generally get the Genoa salami. You generally? I generally get the Genoa yeah? salami. Okay. I think the only difference is that the Genoa has the little peppercorns in it. Correct. Is that the only difference? Correct. Thank you for paying attention. <laughs> And wow. I'm not sure you told me One in me a that. row. One in a row. Yeah. Anyway, I just bought some yesterday, so now it's on sale. I have to get more. Yes. It lasts a good long time. It does, it, yes. You know, well, it depends how fast how, you eat it. And how much you buy, I suppose. Yeah. There's so many variables. Correct. So many variables. But apparently I can get either hard or Genoa. Correct. Okay, this, I got Genoa yesterday, so I'll get some hard today. If I just put some... <laughs> Where are you going? If I just put some pepper on it, would it be the same thing? No, I like no. a little crunch. I yes. like a little crunch. Breasts, what kind of breasts are those? Chicken breasts. Yes, <laughs> Jacob's own teriyaki marinated chicken breasts. Teriyaki marinated chicken breasts. Say that yes. five times real fast. Go I ahead, did. go wait. Oh, that was fast. Yeah. I didn't even hear you. Uh, $4.99 a pound, how yes. many breasts in a pound? It's about a pound a piece. How many pounds in a breast? Yes. It's about a pound, a pound a piece. Yes, And about uh, a week back. About a week back. Good price, teriyaki marinated. Yes. yes, I know you don't like teriyaki that much, but I this like is it just as long right as it amount. isn't as long as it isn't overpowering. As long right. as it isn't the only thing you taste. Correct. So yeah, I, you'll taste the chicken breast on this one. Too. Then then I'm gonna try this. Then I'm gonna try this. Now we're going to baked beans. Oh, are you sure already? I don't. I, yes, baked beans. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe this has ever been on special since I've been nope. paying attention. Oh, it's but been I've on... had the baked beans because they yes. come with the brat the brat fry Wednesday Correct. meal. Well, and, which you wouldn't know because uh, you just No, I used to, I anyway. used to, before this, I used to actually get my oh. meals the right way. Oh, okay. So like steel. 19 weeks ago? Steel, yeah, I should stop that. Huh? Yes. Ah, well, whatever, you do. <laughs> I've you. had your baked beans in the lunches and yes. they're very good. So now, they're delicious. apparently yes. you can get them over the counter. Correct. So we start with uh, Bush's baked beans actually, and we doctor them up with some um, bacon, onion, uh, molasses, brown sugar. Oh, you make them good then. And other stuff, yes. You make them good. Yes, they're delicious. Well, they are delicious. Yes. They are delicious. Yep. Yeah. It's not something I have every day, so that when you, when I do well, have it, I say, oh, why don't I have this every right, day? Right, right. It's very good. It's then almost time. you realize time. later why, no, oh. It's almost time. Yeah. You ready? It's almost, or it is time? It is time, I'm gonna push right. the button. Okay, you brats go. of the week. Brats of the week. That's enough of that. Okay. The first brat is, it doesn't even say brat. Oh, why don't you tell me which one it is? It says uh, uh, Jacob's own Polish. fresh Polish sausage. So we're saying that a Polish sausage is really just a brat. Correct. By a different name. Correct, with different seasonings. What yes. makes it Polish? Uh, the seasonings. Do tell. Yeah, Expand it's uh, made with uh, marjoram. Okay. Not margarine. Margarum. Margarum, yes. Yeah. So, so it's, it's it a pork actually brat. gives it kind of like a garlicky flavor. A pork brat? Yes. With spices that one associates with Poland. Yes. Okay. okay. Not a polish. It's not it a polish. It could be polish sausage. sausage. It could be. It depends on what you do with it. Well, okay. <laughs> Where are we going now? <laughs> Jacob's own beer can chicken brats, 469 a pound as well. Uh, what's the ratio of beer to can in this brat? How much About can 50, is 50 50 percent yeah. can in this brat. Right. I don't understand so, what this so is. So how we make it is we take oh, you a, make the chicken in there. Okay. You tell so me. So we take a blatz. We slam the blats, okay, and then we cut the top off and oh. cut the bottom off, yep. and then we cut it, and then we kind of make it like a piece of paper, or whatever, and then yep. we put it through the paper shredder. Mm -hmm. So and then I, we I put the say, shards. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again next Wednesday. Maybe. You put it through the paper shredder, then yeah. what happens? And then and then we put it through the other way so it gets nice and fine. Oh, you're making confetti. Yes. Okay. Yes, very much. And beer then can we put confetti. that. Yeah, beer can, and then we put the uh, the put it in a oh, chicken broth. You make basically a dust out of the beer can. Basically, yeah. Basically. But people with fillings, yeah. they can tell right away. Right away. Yes. Did yes. you say fillings or feelings? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fillings, definitely. Fillings. So you're, you're really not recommending this for people who have fillings? feelings. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> anyway. Yes. Is it a pork broth? With it, it beer is, can chicken added, or is no? It's it a, a chicken, chicken broth. It's a, it's a chicken broth. It's it a chicken broth with brat. beer cans added. With beer cans added. Yes. Phew. Phew. I forget where we're going now. <laughs> oh, I have something special. Oh. I have something special. Uh, first Do of all, tell. we generally uh, talk about how to cook one of these products, and and uh, beef tenderloin, the whole one. How would you cook that? Uh, so how I typically cook it, um, I do it for basically just special occasions because it's, it's uh, three, large, three yeah. and a half to four pounds um, typically. So you want 
seven to eight people or whatever plus. Um, so I put in a cake pan with a little bit of water on the bottom, put some dabs of butter on top of it, um, fold the tail under, because it, it kind of tapers off. It's the like tapers a tail. Yep. Yes, okay. yep. So ta fold that under, um, so it basically cooks as one large chunk of meat. Um, and then cover with aluminum foil. Okay. I season it with some, um, I like prime rib seasoning okay. that we sell here. Um, and then cover with aluminum foil really tightly. Preheat the oven to 450. Um, put it in there for 20 minutes and then turn the oven off. Leave the oven door closed. Um, put it in there for uh, another 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how you like your steak done. Right. That will give you a medium rare. So the, obviously the longer you Do you ever take there, the aluminum foil off? No. No. Not till after it's done. Till after it's done. Right. Um, maybe one day we'll cook one of these in the uh, back. Maybe. And, and we'll show people maybe. like we're gonna do right now. Oh, are your we? first ever cooking show. Okay. Uh, if you, you recall, recently we spoke of the smoked pork chops. And I had a recipe and you had a recipe and everyone loved your recipe of so course. much for its amazing simplicity. simplicity. Yes, yes. And uh, so uh, we met in the back here and you cooked one. Yes. And I filmed it and you're going to tell us all about it. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Let's see if the button works. <clears throat> okay. Luke Chop. All right. So first I started off, I uh, heated the pan up um, on, a, on a higher heat and then I put the smoked pork chop in there um, and just kind of let it get happy a little bit. I didn't put any seasoning or anything like that on the pan or anything, any, any butter. Um, then after about three or four minutes, I made sure that it was brown on the one side and I flipped it over. And then uh, you just have to sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on there. Uh, make sure you got a nice, nice coverage over the brown sugar, or I'm sorry, over the uh, smoked pork chop. Um, so then you just kind of uh, make sure that it's all covered. Um, and then after a couple minutes, then I just put the, uh, put the lid on and then after about three or four minutes, then I took the lid off and made sure that all the brown sugar was all melted um, and then took it off, made sure that the other side was brown as well. Um, and then it's all prepared and everything. So you just have to make sure that it's fully cooked all the way through. Um, and then I uh, cut it open and enjoyed the deliciousness of the smoked pork chop. You'll see it on my face. Yeah, right there. What did you think? I was there. Oh, you were? I was there and uh, you took the first bite and then I took a bite and then we passed it around. Everybody loved it. Right. Uh, you did say, because you just narrated that as we were going. Yes. Uh, that you have to make sure it's fully cooked. It, it, you it sell is it fully yes, cooked. Yes, it is fully cooked. Yeah. I was, so I was it's mistaken. already cooked. Yes. Because I've eaten them just heated through. out of the refrigerator. Yes. I'm okay. Right, right. So just heat it through. You're, are you sure? <laughs> I'm as okay That's as I've debatable. ever been. Okay, okay. So. Thanks for that. Sure. That, that worked Thank rather you. well, didn't it? It was one take, too. Yes. We didn't like do this 10 times. Right. Just, right. It wasn't a 45 minute take. You know, I'm working with a professional. He knows sure. what he's doing. Sure. We have a guest of the week. Yes. Let's move right along. We have uh, Gary's Premium Cocktails here. And speaking yes. of drinks. We have Jim, actually. Jim is here from, yes. from what's the company name? Uh, Gary's Premium Cocktails. Did I just say that? Play the tape. I think back. so. Speaking of drinks. I wasn't listening. You know who The Rock is. You went from uh, Chuck Norris, I'm going to go to The Rock. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson? That's the one. Yes. What drink is The Rock mortally afraid of? Uh, I don't know. Dr. Paper. Doc. Ba -bum. We'll be right back. That's your stuff pork chop. Oh. 
All right, we're back with Eric in the in the picture. <laughs> All right, yes. All right, we're back with Jim Vervoort. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you very much for stopping by. Yeah, no problem. Um, Thanks for having us. Yes. So, what is the name of your company? Gary's Premium Cocktails. Okay. So. And uh, so, when was it started, and who was it started by? And well, my why dad was it is started? Gary. Your dad's Gary. Okay. Um, as you know, he started decades ago making old-fashioned mixes. So. Then, making old fashions or making old fashioned mixes? Uh, probably m like 50 years ago making old fashions. Okay, okay. But, uh, <laughs> okay. Decades ago making the mix. Sure. So he was, him and mom would just mess around the kitchen making old fashioned mixes. He wasn't satisfied with the other mixes that were on the market. So sure. just for fun, they started making their own thing. Okay. Then because friends and family were requesting that he would make it for him, he just he talked to my cousin, who's now passed, got a rest of soul, Troy, who okay. owned uh, Kerrigan Brothers. Okay, sure. And we started making our old-fashioned mix there for retail. Okay. So when Dad decided, uh, we found out at a family wedding, actually, he's like, uh, I'm selling the business. We're like, uh, okay, what about Surprise, us? Surprise, right? huh? Yeah, right, <laughs> so right. He had like 19 locations he was self-distributing to at that time. Okay. And we said, well... So he didn't trust you then? Is that, uh, is that what it was? I think he thought we had enough going on in oh, our, oh, okay. our careers. Okay. We all okay. had our day jobs. And, sure. Um, so he gave us three days to figure out if we wanted to buy it. And um, we decided we're going to give it a shot and buy it. Okay. So we bought it from Dad seven years ago. Okay. And then... He had 19 retail locations. We're now in just right around 2,000 locations between on-premise and off-premise locations. Wow. Of course, our favorite is Jacob's Meat Market. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so what we did then is we decided, we took Dad's original recipe. Um, it was too much for us, obviously, to keep bottling at Kerrigan's ourselves. Sure. So we found a co-packer who uses his recipe. Then we also developed a classic muddled old-fashioned mix recipe. Okay. okay. And then we thought we wanted to expand again, so we came up with two Bloody Mary mixes, both a regular and a spicy Bloody okay. Mary mix. Okay. So what is the difference between the classic muddled? I mean, people that maybe are watching, they, they maybe don't live in Wisconsin or okay. have heard of Wisconsin, really. Yeah. Um, so uh, an old-fashioned is a very Wisconsin supper clubby thing. Um, yeah. Can you kind of explain what an old-fashioned is? I, yeah, mean, so, I know the ingredients, but some of, the, some of our viewers might so know. So an old-fashioned, the first old-fashions were actually made in New York. And they're made, they had a cinnamon base then. They were, actually had a cinnamon stick in them. So it's a sweeter um, cocktail that has bitters in it. And then you add your whiskey or brandy typically, and then a wash on top, so a sweeter or sour. Okay. So our original old-fashioned mix had that cinnamon stick in it so it's, okay. it has a cinnamon taste now some people are averse to cinnamon you either like it or don't like sure. it so people were asking us to make a, a muddled old-fashioned like you'd get in a supper club so yeah. you take a sugar cube and an orange maybe a cherry and mash it up with bitters and then add your booze and your wash to the top sure so we wanted to make that easy for people where they didn't have to go through the process of muddling and put it in a bottle. So now we're seeing supper clubs, restaurants, bars. We're in a thousand um, off-premise location or on-premise locations. So that's your restaurants, your bars, and that. Okay. What it does is it makes it easy for them too. They sure. don't have to go through the process of muddling. Makes it quicker. The same drink every time. Right. So we're right. having a really. We didn't. We didn't think it would be as easy it is as it is for us to sure. sell that because okay. everyone has the best old-fashioned, right? right? Well, right. We're showing that. We probably do. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what is your favorite? The classic muddled or the original? I like the muddled. Muddled, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there a huge difference in flavor? Uh, there is. I mean, is okay? one has a real cinnamon backbone yep. and the other yep. one tastes more like you muddled it with an orange. Sure. I'd say the the muddled one is sweeter. Okay. So. Uh, that's probably why I like that one. I I honestly have only had the, the classic muddled mm -hmm. um, because it's, it's really, really good every single time and I don't have to worry about, you know, is this one taste different and I don't really it doesn't really matter because I right. know that I like that one and as far so. as the, the sales I mean they're almost 50 50 now oh really and okay. we came out with the muddled you know years after the original sure and it's catching way up Wow so we're now sold in 13 different states a um, thousand retail locations and then a thousand um, you know bars and restaurants and stuff wow. like that Wow too. so so you do you, you distribute outside of Wisconsin then correct so um, 
our main distributor is in Wisconsin, that's Badger Liquor. Okay. But then we drop ship to, we ended up getting in Walmart, which was big for us. Hy-Vee, we drop ship to them, and then they distribute it through their channels wow. to wow. other states. That is amazing. Yeah, and we've also sold, we have a big pre presence on Amazon, so we've sold in What's every that? state in five countries. I think it's, it's that, like a startup. Startup, Amazon, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Um, so you sell at uh, all of these locations as well as Jacob's Meat Market. Are mm -hmm. there some other locations in Appleton that you would like to mention that you that you sell to? Yeah, you're I mean, in festival. You're in. We're in festival. Woodman's, I'm assuming. Woodman's. Okay. Um, other small locations, Nemos, for example. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're. It's hard not to find us if you're in sure. Wisconsin. Sure. Really. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And if um, you have a favorite grocery store that doesn't have us, ask them for it. Just mention it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what is new with uh, Gary's Premium Cocktails? Um, so those are our, our main backbone. We are looking to dabble into the Other ready backbones? to drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to make it easier for people, just open a can and drink. We've, okay. been, we've been working on that for a while. Sure. We won't do it until it's perfect though. I mean, we've had some experimentation into making a old fashioned in a can and it just doesn't come out like we want so we're not gonna release it. So sure. I think we're closer to getting to the ready to drink stuff and okay. we'll let you know when we do That's probably a different licensing I'm assuming because you're adding alcohol to it. it is. is it okay. It okay. is completely so it's probably separate. a lot harder, you know, you're going to you're going up against smeared off and all those larger names that have Yeah. Okay. And we're looking to make it malt based. So that's okay. so you don't have the alcohol license, you have a, a beer license actually, oh, okay. a brewer's license. Sure. Okay. So, but we've got all that licensing done. We're just looking to make the product perfect, perfect. before yeah. we release it. Okay, so. okay. Um, so also I noticed in the, in the last couple, uh, was it weeks, months, years, that you guys have taken this product line on here? Right, so 2021, we... Um, you didn't, have, you didn't have enough to do with the cocktail, right. so you expanded. Yeah, back so home. like this were... This is our bourbon barrel aged coffee, so I actually aged the green beans in bourbon barrels. You you put green beans in there? Yeah, like green coffee beans. Oh, coffee beans. Oh, okay, <laughs> not green beans. Okay, no. okay. No, green coffee beans. And then we aged that for six weeks, and then our friends at New Morning Coffee Roasters right in Appleton here, sure. they roast them for up and grind them and put them in bags okay. that we have here, which okay. we're really happy with. Um, and like you said, we needed more to do. Right. You know, my fiance said, when are you going to find time to do that? And I said, sure. well, I don't really do anything between midnight and six. Right. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> right. Perfect. But the, Do you have to be 21 to buy the... You do not. You don't. Okay. No. Okay. You don't have to be 21 to buy any of our products. The okay. um, alcohol and content in them is low enough that you okay. don't have to be. So the old fashioned mix it mixes and the Bloody Mary mixes do contain bitters, which has alcohol in it. Sure. But it's at a threshold low enough where it's considered non-alcoholic. Okay. okay. So what happened then was Gary's bought um, Great Lakes Beverage in 2021, December of 2021. And we then partnered with New Morning Coffee sure. Roasters to do some coffee for them retail. Okay. So we sell their coffee um, to bars, restaurants, healthcare, stuff like that. Okay. But we talked to them about a line to do retail. So Paul Wisneski, who's one of the owners, went to judge the um, National Honduran Coffee Championships. And when he was there, he ran across a, a farm that was completely women owned and run. Okay. And he was inspired by them. Many of them were victims of domestic abuse because it's a third world country. Sure. And he kind of made a pledge to himself that he was gonna come back and do something for them. So what we do is we source the beans exclusively from women-owned farms in Honduras or Central America. Okay. And then we make this Caferis line out of it. So there's a vanilla. Dulce's blend is a medium roast. That's okay. uh, Dulce was the woman who was founded that first farm. Okay. And then we have a breakfast blend, which is the light roast. Okay. And then for every bag sold, we donate directly back to the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Wow. So wow we're, that's awesome. We're really happy for our local partners like you who are carrying this line because it's it's Gary's way of a bunch of dudes you know who want to give back to sure. a, a, something that we 
believe is important. Right, you know? right. And there's, there's a story, the story's on the back the of- The story is yep, on the back. On the back of the, the coffee yeah. here, so you can come in and read it. And so we're really looking to get that into more retail locations, but we really appreciate you guys who are out here yeah. selling it. Yeah, and, and we sell a, a fair amount it. of it, and I think a lot of people are supporting the supporting the cause, and they really feel good when they're yeah. when they're buying it and when they're drinking it too. Well, and the coffee's fantastic. New yes. Morning does a great job with it, and you're going to have your morning cup of coffee. It may as well be coffee with a cause, right? You know, coffee with a cause. I like it. So I like it. Yeah. All right. Um, is there anything else that we need to cover yet? Apples. Apples. Do you like apples? I do like apples. You do? Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. You look more like an Android guy, but oh. we'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will be right back. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Our mics are not. Now we're back. Yeah, there now we go. We're now back. we're back. So I'm glad you're an expert on this. Yeah, so yeah. I'm glad we don't you're need to attention. do 19.1 or 19.2 again. Yeah, like 19A or something. Six, yeah. Or something. I forget right. what that was. Right. Very interesting. Yes. Uh, I did not know that Gary's premium cocktails was so widespread. I had no idea. Right. And I didn't know anything about that coffee. So right. now I'm going to have to read the back of the bag. Yes. And and buy a bag and because I do you can I, just read it and then put it back on the shelf no, I'm gonna, like I'm the newspapers I, I drink, People come I drink coffee every morning yeah okay yeah, yeah. good very nice very nice uh, shall I go to special days we shall okay and you shall uh, tomorrow Thursday July 27th is National Chili Dog Day yes and in honor of National Chili Dog Day your Jacob's Meat Market lunch is a chili cheese dog yes fantastic I'm glad you pay attention to things like this well I mean it, it means the world to the chili cheese dog sometimes it just slaps us right in the face does it you know does it Sometimes. Sometimes, not always. Right. This Friday, July 28th, is National Milk Chocolate Day, one of my favorite days, because I like chocolate. Not chocolate milk, but milk chocolate. I like chocolate milk. Okay. Rarely have it, but milk chocolate is very available. On the daily? Right yes. here. Yes. This Sunday, July 30th, is International Day of Friendship, and I just thought I'd mention Aww. that because it sounds like a really good, important day. Yes. International Day of Friendship. Do you have any international friends? Um, si. Si. Oui. Yeah. Yeah. Even bigger news. This coming Tuesday, August 1st, Kevin, who works here at Jacob's Meat yes. Market, does all sometimes can be seen running back and forth he here. He does yeah. all sorts of support work here. Yes. Um, sometimes all he's sorts. behind the counter. Yes. So when, it's, when it gets busy. Kevin, this Tuesday, is getting married. He is. Getting married. Yes. On a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. I, I know it's why. It's better luck than Saturday. Probably. It's also the new moon. That was the reason. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Huh. So congratulations to Kevin. You ask apparently the right questions. I do, I do. Or you listen to them. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding, Kevin. We had a giveaway last week. Yes. The giveaway is a bottle of Jimmy J's Razorback Rib Sauce. Yes. In any heat, you said. Uh, and the winner is... Karen. Karen, who said, I can't Who's cook. not a real Karen? Uh, She's not really You know a, Karen. She's not really a Karen. But her name is, just happens to be Karen. She was Karen before that Karen came around. Correct. Correct. Karen's comment was, I can't cook. I go to a supper club for my medium well tenderloin, which is a good way to get it. Yes. Good way to get it. So, Karen, just come on in. She even spelled supper club right. Some people do super club. Do they? Yeah, just one P. Someday you're going to tell me what a supper club is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take you to it's one. It's mentioned a lot around we'll get, uh, <laughs> we'll get some old fashions. 
So Karen just comes in and says, where's my rib sauce? Yes. Okay. And I someone some, here will I want her. some triple X. Triple X. That's what she's going to say. This week we're doing another one, right? A giveaway? Yes, absolutely. And what are we giving away? We wrote it down there. Uh, well, let's give away <laughs> uh, one Bloody Mary mix, any heat again, okay. and then uh, one old fashioned mix, either style. You're saying we're going to pick two winners or one winner gets both? Just one both. winner gets both. One winner gets, yep, gets both. Gets both. And yep. uh, I have an idea of how to enter this one. Shall what's I, the, shall I the share idea? the idea? Yeah, it, it's usually like this. Like a light bulb? No, I had an idea but for the it, camera. Yeah. Oh, for you you okay. want to share your idea, that's fine. See what I have to put up with? I think. What you get to put up with. <laughs> yeah, what I enjoy. Why don't you tell us what your idea is? To enter this week's contest, either in the comments below, either on YouTube or on Facebook, wherever you are. Or both. Uh, or both, wherever you are absorbing this magnificent program, just say congratulations to Kevin, who's getting married on Tuesday. Yes, yeah, standard spelling so of Kevin. He won't even be here next week, will he? No. Oh, what are we going to do? Yeah, he, you'll play? He, All right. He, Congratulations. Congratulations. In the comment section. In the comments in on the our comments YouTube section. page or Facebook. Me either. So he's not going to be here? Correct. Are we closing this door? Ah, uh, let's keep we'll, it open We'll try anyway. to muddle through. We'll muddle, muddle it through. Muddle. Yeah. Did you write that down? No, but someone was talking about muddling. Oh, okay. Making drinks. Okay. So it's a throwback. A throwback, yeah. yeah. In case uh, you were listening. That, that line right there. All right. There. Thank you very much for continuing to watch. Uh, we will be back again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. with another live broadcast of BSTV. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, through YouTube or Facebook. Come and visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific in Appleton, Wisconsin. We are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Those are very Long convenient, hours. convenient hours for yes. people who need to buy things from you. Right. See you next week. Thank Bye. you.